Thank you for joining Healthy Painting. This short video features a fairly standard one-room repaint project completed the Healthy Painting way. A great couple in West Seattle purchased this beautiful home and wanted their young child's new bedroom painted identically to the room the child was moving out of. Pretty cool. Place walk-on, walk-off sticky mats directly inside entry doors. This allows everyone to pass through and safely transport needed tools, equipment, and materials without tracking unwanted debris through the home. Remove footwear inside home until floors are adequately covered. Here is a shot of the room before starting project. Most newly built homes tend to be quickly coated with commercial grade paints and often only commercial grade primers are used. Though adequate, a bit of effort and better materials make a vast improvement. Lay down two layers of drop cloths, one layer on top of another, to assure floors are fully protected. Once drop cloths have been laid down, put boots back on and begin. Set up air filtration system and run through course of project. Jet filtration systems clear rooms of fine dust particles that compromise air quality. The two-filter process quickly cleans and removes pre-existing micron particles as well as those created during the project. This benefits homeowners as well as our crew, especially individuals with known respiratory and or chemical sensitivity challenges. Remove outlet and switch plate covers. Wipe down everything not being painted that butts up against any surface that will be painted for optimum tape adhesion. Properly tape and paper where needed, such as floor base tops, window sills, window coverings that cannot be easily removed, etc. Once room is fully set up, make sure floor is completely covered corner to corner. Remove all unwanted nails, hooks, etc. Scan all surfaces with work lamp to get best view possible of everything that needs filling or other attention. Patch or repair all holes, cracks, and imperfections. In this case, fill with small amount of spackling, then wipe excess with back of gloved palm. When done right, no further sanding is required. Use five gallon buckets to mix the total amount of cans or containers of paint, primer, etc. needed to complete project. This ensures all surfaces will have a consistent coverage and look when completed. To do future touch-ups, this is a must. Transfer all paint not needed to begin painting back into their original cans or containers and seal shut. Strive to maintain a neat, organized workspace at all times. Brush cut all corners and edges with a quality synthetic bristle brush. Excessive application creates potential problems, including heightened risk of paint getting behind tape and paper, which is applied specifically as a protection against such occurrences. Once everything is cut in, add a screen, roller handle, and premium roller sleeve to the five gallon bucket. As you fully roll out each section, finish by rolling over everything in a complete and even pattern from the top to the bottom of each wall, as well is fully across one side to the other of each ceiling. Place fans for optimum cross-ventilation surface drying. Once adequately dried, remove all tape and paper. Put back outlet and switch plate covers. Transfer unused paint from roller bucket kit into one single container whenever possible. Place used screen, roller handle, and roller sleeve inside bucket. Place lid on top, then seal shut. Carefully transport roller bucket to be cleaned. Take up drop cloths. Use HEPA vacuum to go over floors and all applicable surfaces. Clean up the project's entry area. Properly label and store remaining paint. That's it. For reference, here are a few shots taken at the start of the project along with a few shots taken at completion. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please contact us. Our website is healthypainting.com and our email is info at healthypainting.com. Thank you.